So, hi everybody and welcome to our talk where we combine Minecraft together with Kubernetes. So, while the presentation is still loading, let me please introduce myself. I'm Enrico, I'm working as a, yeah, mostly platform engineer, as a consultant. I give trainings to lots of people uh, who start their cloud native journey. And I'm here together with Jenny. Hi, I'm Jenny and I am a designer and a developer, but most importantly, I am the mother of two sons sitting in the crowd right in front of me. And yeah, I don't know what you did during the pandemic, but I was forced to become something I never wanted to be, a homeschool teacher of my own children. Long story short, I hated everything about it because I didn't know anything about teaching methods. Yeah, and to be honest, this whole homeschooling thing, yeah, <laughs> breaks, breaked our relationship with our children. So something had to be changed here and we had to find a solution. Yeah, and I found it accidentally through my children in Minecraft. Minecraft ex education, exactly. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you knew, know Minecraft, but Minecraft education is basically an educational version of the cult game where kids could learn in a safe and engaging environment. Yeah, and I decided to teach myself and got certified as a Minecraft education teacher and um, applied the principles of game-based learning to our homeschool day life. Yeah, and I brought back fun and love to our yeah, <laughs> not so good, uh, how do we call it? Relation with the kids, basically. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was difficult, yeah. But when the schools reopened after all the closures, I decided to continue with work, with work with Minecraft education and applied as a volunteer teacher at our neighborhood school. Yeah, and I opened a Pandora's box for all these children because they had so many questions and they got so interested in all of this computer stuff within this game. They started to question, ask questions like, how can I host a server? How can I create mods? Mods on servers sounds very fun and what on earth is programming? Yeah, and I managed to get them interested in all of this. I reached children with learning difficulties. I got girls interested in programming and coding and, and computer science as well. And I'm very proud of it. But as a volunteer teacher, my resources were limited and there had to be a solution where my students and children could learn by themselves independently and got all these tutorials accessible for them. Luckily, my husband had a solution for this because he's a trainer and he was working on a thing he will talk about now. So delivering technical uh, environments like development environments or some servers so that you can work on and host things like Kubernetes on it were something that's familiar for me. But um, that could also be extended for like Minecraft server hosting or even Python programming or whatever you want to teach kids uh, that helps them to deliver their goals. So um, I brought in a tool that we already use for uh, Kubernetes training. It's called Hobby Farm. If you don't know it, check it out. Um, from a user's perspective, you get like uh, a side-by-side -side, um, yeah, tutorial for, um, uh, yeah, for technical scenarios of any, uh, any kind, um, and you just need a browser to actually access it. From an admin perspective, if we give like self-learning to, uh, to people, we want to make sure that they are safe there. Um, if they need help, we want to have something that we can help them with, and also uh, we have to take care about all the infrastructure. You might ask yourself, what does all of this have to do with Kubernetes? The thing is, um, Hobby Farm itself is a pl platform that uses Kubernetes natively. So there's no database or anything. It everything that lives in there is a CRD, um, and yeah, it's Kubernetes native. And we kind of um, combined all this together to achieve the goal of teaching children, uh, like yeah, their uh, coding challenges, or whatever we want to deliver to them. 
So with us being here, we want to encourage every one of you. Um, I think it's a room full of people uh, with many different technical or uh, yeah, even skills. Let's call it skills. Um, and if we can do it, if we can go out there and teach even the youngest uh, ones about technology, about all the things that uh, leads us to being a crowd here of uh, technical experts, you can also do it. And uh, think about your community where you can share things. Um, and yeah, help uh, the community to grow. Thanks for having us here. If you do have any questions, just uh, reach out to us. We're here till Friday. Um, if you need any more information, scan the QR code. You know how that works. Thank you. Thank you.